Welcome to today's Pilates class. So we will be using light hand weights as well as a loop if you have one or any sort of resistance band really will work or as always you can do all the exercises without this. So start with the hand weights in either hand and just roll your shoulders up and back four times. Inhale nice and deep, just warming up, just getting that body moving. And then reverse that little circle other direction. Good. Keep the belly button pulled in towards the spine. Keep that little kegel squeeze. So as you lift your arms forward for me, I want you to squeeze with your belly button and feel your abs get tight. Open straight out to the side. And when you come to the side, I want you still to be able to see those hands in your peripheral vision. And then bring them down. Do that again for me nice and slow. Stop for just a second. Tighten your abs. Open to the side. And drop low. Two more nice and slow. If you don't have hand weights, just squeeze right there with your shoulders like you're pressing upwards against something. And tighten your abdominals. And lower down. One more time. Squeeze. Keep the abs tight. And just reverse that circle. So lift the side, find the abdominal squeeze, press your tailbone down towards the floor, bring the hands in and lower. Lift the side, squeeze them in slow, create that resistance and lower. Just two more. Lift to the side, squeeze in, tighten the abs and back. Last one there. Lift, squeeze. And lower. I'm going to add the loop with the weights. You absolutely have the option of doing either one or none. So go ahead and if you're using the loop, place it around your forearms just above where your watch would be if you were wearing a watch. If you're using hand weights, place them in your hand like you're holding a little tray. Tuck your elbows in nice and close to your rib cage and just open out to the side, squeezing through the shoulders, working through the rotator cuff. So it's super controlled. There's this great big squeeze. Keep moving out to the side. And in. Squeeze as you open out to the side. Hold for just a little breath. And release super controlled. Squeeze and open out to the side. Release with control. Squeeze and open out to the side. So you're really going for the shoulders in this. Up in that little rotator cuff where your shoulders open out to the side and control the in. Two more. Squeeze open out to the side. Control as you release the in. One more. Slow. A little bit wider. Hold, hold, hold. Release slow and let it come in. Beautiful. Working on a posture perfecter for me. I want you to stand with your feet hip distance apart. Your weights are going to be in your hands. You're going to hinge slightly forward, sort of like a deadlift. And then I want you to pull those elbows back, press your chest forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together, release those hands, and reverse that hinge all the way up to standing. So working through the abs and back. First hinge in that lower back, then squeeze with the mid and upper back. Release that. Finish the hinge, lower back. Hinge. Super duper squeeze slow, release, stand tall. I'm going to show you one more with the weights. Super duper squeeze, hands really hang, squeeze with the back of the legs, squeeze with the back as you come up. Same thing if you're using that loop. Hinge, pull with that loop and as you pull get those hands just a little bit wider so those arms get tight and stand tall. So a little bit of hinge, back open and squeeze, really press your chest forward, open through the back. And really think about your posture. Think about trying to make the flattest back possible, looking slightly out in front of you and all the way up. One more little hinge, super duper squeeze. And then just set your equipment over the side, coming to the end of your mat for me. Working on a Pilates push-up or an inchworm push-up. You're going to inhale up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Think about that nice posture that you were just creating with that last move. Bend your knees as much as you need to bring your hands to the floor. Inchworm, walk those hands out. 
keeping your hands directly underneath your shoulders, tricep push-up. So crease the elbows to the wall in front of you. A little bitty bend of the elbows. Straighten. Scoop the hips up in a downward dog. Walk the hands in. Now pull your belly button into your spine. Look as far in front of you as you can. Open those arms out and flat back, squeeze to come up. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, flat back down. Walk the hands out. Hold the plank. Little bitty tricep push up. All the way up. Scoop the hips up towards the ceiling. Walk the hands in. Look forward first. Think about that flat back, that beautiful posture. Squeeze, come up. Work everything through the abs and back. Just two more of this. Walk your hands out. Find that good plank position. Scoop the belly button up towards the spine. It's getting to be too much. Drop to your knees. Bring your toes up so your kneecaps aren't pressing down. Drop into that push-up. Lift up. Do drop the toes. Lift the knees. Scoop to lift that tailbone up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back. Arms wide, flat back. Last one. Hinge. Reach for the floor. Walk it out. Belly button and lower back scooping up towards the ceiling as you bend those elbows. Little tricep push up. Good. Drop to the knees. Sit all the way back. Inhale. Right back into tabletop. Exhale. Good. In that tabletop position, scoop your belly button towards your spine. Give me a teeny puffing up of that lower back towards the ceiling. Tuck your toes under and a teeny tiny lift of the knees to hover. Breathe through it. Tap the knees. Lift the knees to hover. One deep breath. So inhale and exhale. Tap the knees on the inhale. Lift the knees on the exhale. One deep breath. Stay right there and just hover and hold. Inhale and exhale. Tap the knees as you inhale. Lift the knees on the exhale. You've got this. One deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Tap the knees on the inhale. Lift the knees on the exhale. Two more sets. Full breath. Inhale. And exhale. Tap the knees on the inhale. Lift the knees on the exhale. Hold, hold, hold. Inhale. And exhale. Drop all the way down. Roll yourself right over onto your side for me. Good, I want you to start with a side elbow plank. So lengthen both legs out so that your hips are stacked, knees and ankles are right on top of each other. On the bottom leg, just bend your knee enough that your foot's now shooting towards the wall behind you. Place your top hand on your top hip and just start to scoop up into that side knee plank and gently set it down. Lift into that side knee plank and super gentle set that down. Two more. Lift and nice and soft set it down. One more. Little lift. Hold, hold, hold. Take your top hand up towards the ceiling. We're going to have four little twists under. So tuck that hand underneath you. Look all the way to the back wall. Lift the hand to the ceiling, look forward. Tuck it under, lift the back wall. Lift forward, or you can lift that bottom leg. Full side plank, tuck. And lift, very controlled. A little bitty tuck. And lift, hold, hold, hold. Reach that hand overhead. Reach back to the ceiling. Three more. Reach your head. You can stack the feet. You can drop that bottom knee. Lots of different options right there. Just one more reach. You've got this. Don't quit just because I can't see you. Set the hips down soft and swing those legs all the way around. Right to the other side. Do even if you're going to bend your bottom knee, start with both legs stacked so you find that good form. Elbows underneath the shoulder. Lift through the rib cage, pull up away from that hand. 
Bend that bottom knee so that the foot goes straight to the wall behind you. Then lift up so that you're lifting right onto the side of the knee. And set it down gentle. Lift up. And set it down. Soft and slow. Two more like that. Lift it up. Super duper gentle. Squeeze the abdominals as you set those hips down. One more. Lift it up. Set it all the way down nice and gentle. And on this one, lift up. Lengthen the hand overhead. Go for that twist. Tuck the hand all the way under. Look for the back wall. Then lift the hand up and lengthen. Tuck it under. Look for the back wall. And lift and lengthen. Two more. Tuck and look for the back wall. Lift and lengthen. Last one. Tuck and look for the back wall. Lift and lengthen. And then take that hand overhead. Remember, you can have lengthened out the bottom leg and be in that full side plank. Reach for it. And reach to the ceiling. Super duper smooth. Super duper slow. Very controlled. One more reach. Lift to the ceiling and hold. Super gentle. Set those hips all the way down. Nice. Swinging right over so that you're seated on the mat. Knees are bent. Feet are flat. Inhale and on your exhale. Be sure that your equipment's close by. And roll yourself all the way back and down. Good. Grabbing onto the loop if you're going to be using it. Go ahead and move it all the way up around your thighs for me. And set those feet nice and flat on the floor. So starting with a lift, I want you to push your palms down into the floor. Push the bottoms of both feet into the floor. Feel like a heavy plate just press down on your abdomen, pressing your belly button and your lower back towards the floor. Now press one foot into the floor as you start to lift the other foot. Don't let anything else move. And set that foot down, super gentle. Nothing from the hips to the shoulders is gonna move at all. Lift the other foot. Drive that bottom foot into the floor. Tighten through that abdominal wall. Tighten through your back muscles. And set that down. If you would rather, hands can be up to the ceiling. Elbows are pressed in and down into the floor as you lift one foot. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Do not let your hips move at all or your rib cage as you set that foot down. Other side, little lift. And set it down. If you would prefer, your hands can go straight up over the chest. Drive one foot into the floor as the other knee lifts. Tighten through your abs. Don't let your back pop up. Don't let your rib cage start to open out. And set that down. Other side, teeny lift, super gentle. Drive the opposite foot down into the floor heavy. And set it down. We have three more little sets. If you would prefer, bring the knees up over the hips and work in the opposite direction. So leave the leg at the top, but work one foot down towards the floor. Push as hard as you can into the floor, almost like you're going to go up into a bridge position. And then pick it right back up. Drive the other foot down into the floor, belly button in towards the spine. Nothing's happening through the rib cage or the hips. There's no movement or popping up. Remember, you can be right here, palms up, but your elbows are pushing down into the floor as you drop one foot. Push it harder into the floor and release the other side. Push a little bit harder down into the floor with that foot and release or your palms can be on the floor. Push with those hands into the mat as you drop one foot and release. Drop the other foot. And release knees in towards your chest. Working on what very typically is called coordination in Pilates. You're going to lift your head and shoulders and tuck yourself into the tightest little ball that you can. 
Everybody's going to push their elbows into the floor. Take your hands, press your hands into the floor. As you do so, lengthen your legs out. Open those legs to the side just a little bit. Release the legs. Tuck everything in. Hands come up and go ahead and lower your head and shoulders. Good. So lift. Push as hard as you can with your hands. If you will really push right here with your hands, as you lengthen those legs out, your abdominals will get just a little bit tighter. Open. Now when you close, everything comes in together. So lift the head and shoulders, push the hands in. Lengthen the legs out. Open the legs. And then all together, super smooth. Tuck everything in for me. Give me three more just like that. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Do that little kegel squeeze. Teeny opening of the legs. Tuck everything in and down all at the same time. Do not let the hands just sit here. Push with them super hard into the floor. So you feel that little extra pull in the abdominal wall. Open the legs. Scoop it in. Set it down. Beautiful. Last one. You got this. Lift and press. Lengthen out. Open. All together. Scoop it in and down. Knees in. Nice. Rock and roll yourself all the way up to a seated position. And go ahead and take that loop off for me. Good. I want you to take the top leg and I want you to roll onto your side and either put the foot flat on the floor behind the leg or in front of the leg. That's going to be a hip mobility issue. There's not a right or wrong answer there. Go ahead and cradle your head with your arm. Take your bottom leg. Flex the foot and push out through the heel as you lift with the inner thigh and lower. Slow and control. Just lift and lower. Nice, smooth lift and lower. Squeeze with that inner thigh. Really think about where you're working and give me four more. Everybody squeeze, lift and lower down. Three. Super gentle. Don't quite come down to the floor. Two. One more. All the way up. All the way to hover over the floor then lift up to hold as high as you can and draw teeny tiny circles right there the size of a dime four in that direction two reverse that circle just circle the opposite direction flex your foot push out through your heel feel like your heels getting higher than your toes two and one bring that in just press yourself up and over right to the other side Laying on your side, stacking your hips, bending your foot. It can go behind you or in front. I think on this side, I'll do it behind just so that you know it really isn't going to make a big difference. You're just going to lift and lower. It's really about that inner thigh. So keep pushing yourself forward, trying to stack your hips and try not to roll to the back wall. Lift. So flex the foot, push out through the heel. Lift with the heel, squeeze with the inner thigh and set it down. Lift and squeeze and set it down. Four like that. Slow and controlled hold and set it down. So if you're breathing nice and slow, it would be like a full breath and set it down. Three and set that down. Two just like that. Do not roll towards the back wall. Keep yourself sort of leaning forward. One more. Come down just to hover over the floor. Don't quite touch. Lift it up. And draw those teeny tiny circles. About the size of a dime. With your heel. Three. Toes are lower. Heel is higher. And reverse that circle. Squeeze with that inner thigh. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice. If 
you're going to use the loop, go ahead and so bring yourself up and place the loop all the way up around your thighs point. Good. Right there, I want you just to lift the top leg and give me the teeniest, tiniest little kick forward and back. Forward and back. Now, as you do that, think about stacking your hips. Like there's a little pull going straight down through the, from the top hip, through the bottom hip into the floor. And so you're not able to rock those hips back and forth, but you're having to squeeze with all the abdominal and back muscles right here in the core, just to hold yourself nice and still. Three, two, and one. Good. Bend those knees in just a little bit, a little clamshell. So you need a hinge. You're going to keep your feet together as you open those knees up and release. With or without the loop, you will still start to get into that outer thigh. Lift and lower. Lift. Give me four like that. Three more. Two. Good, on this one, you're gonna lift that knee up, kick the foot out towards the wall in front of you, tap the feet, drop the knee. Lift the knee, kick the foot, tap, and lower. Lift, little kick, and lower. That's four, you have four more little sets just like that. Lift that knee just as high as you can, kick forward, and lower. Pull your belly button in. Keep everything through here nice and tight. Two little sets. All the way up. All the way out. Bring it in. Drop the knee. Now we're going to stay out. So lift the knee. Kick it out. And drop. And lift. Seven. Six. Five. Four, just like that. Do not let this start to lean back, but almost feel like you're leaning more forward. Two, little circles, eight, six, breathe through it. Reverse the circle for eight. Almost there, you've got four, three, two. Oh, bend those knees in. Bring your hands forward, lift yourself up and over and switch right over to the other side. So start with the legs straight for me so that you're doing that little lift it up, kick forward, swing back. There's really only about one foot, like one little kid's ruler that you're swinging forward and swinging back because your biggest goal is to think about this top hip as you squeeze with that leg, squeeze with all these core muscles, everything that hooks into your spine so that your hips don't go with you or away from you. Three more little kicks and in. Two. Squeeze. Get this warmed up so that you know you are still using this when you bend those knees in. And then bend them in for me. Clamshell. Remember that means that your feet will stay together for me. And close. A little open. And close. Teeny, squeeze. So even if you don't have that loop, kind of resist on that up. Create the tightness in the muscles like you're resisting against something. And release. Now if this side gets tired faster, it's because it was pushing into the floor on the other side to stabilize you, but you still have to work through it because you already did the other side. Lift, extend out. Bring the foot in and close. Lift, kick, tap, keep it slow. So here's the temptation. You already know where we're going. You know what we're doing because we did it on the other side. And so you're like, oh, I'm just gonna whip through these really fast. But then you're not gonna get that same strengthening move as you do when you go slow. So give me four. Lengthen, tap. And even if this side feels more tired or you're like, I don't think I'm as strong on this side, 
Get ready to the other side. You do not want to be like a shopping cart with a bad wheel. You will list to the side all day long. That would be terrible. One more. Extend. On this one, lift and extend. You need that eight, seven, six. Breathe through it. Five, I'm doing it. You can do it with me. Four, do not quit. Three, two, little circles for eight. Belly button in. Try to lean a little bit forward. Don't lean back. Two, and reverse the circle. Six, four, two, and one. Bend those knees in. If you have the loop on, go ahead and take it off as you roll onto your back. Cross one ankle over the opposite knee. A little bitty figure four stretch. Your hips should be needing that and they should be thoroughly appreciating it. Deep breath. And then just switch right over. Opposite ankle across the knee. Pull that in. Teeny tiny figure four stretch. Just for a super deep inhale. Lots of oxygen to the bloodstream. Exhale. Really down into that stretch. Grab on one knee and pull yourself all the way up for me. Nice. Swing yourself all the way around. We're going to do a super slow plank series. But you only have to do one of each little move. So it's going to be fabulous. If you get into plank and at some point it's just not working for you anymore, drop to one knee. See if that's going to work out. And if you would prefer, drop to both knees. So starting with your hands directly underneath your chest, tuck your toes under. Start by pulling your knees up off the floor. Feel like I just tied a string to your lower back. And right there in the center, your belly button's going to come off the mat first. And then your lower back's going to kind of pull you straight up towards the ceiling, not your bottom. So keep your bottom kind of tucked under for me. Good. You're going to take one arm, lengthen to the ceiling, and then set that elbow down. Switch sides. Lengthen to the ceiling and set that elbow down. Now come back up. Lengthen to the ceiling. Come to your hand. Other side. Lengthen to the ceiling. Come to your hand. Now circle that arm behind you and set it down on the elbow. Swing the other arm around and come to your elbow. Swing the arm back and come to your hand. Other arm back. Other side's going to lead. So you're going to reach overhead and back. Scoop it in down to your elbow. Reach overhead. Swing it back. Down to your elbow. Overhead. Swing it back. Up to the arm. Overhead. Swing it back. To the arm. Good. Drop one elbow. Drop the other elbow. Come up to the hand, up to the hand, other side leads. Elbow, elbow, lift. Can you try it with both? Elbows down, elbows up, elbows down, elbows up. Working into the legs. So if you're on your knees, lengthen one leg out for me. Pull that knee in, out to the side, set it down. Other side, knee in, open to the side. Now reverse that. Swing out to the side, tuck the knee in, set it down. Swing out to the side, tuck it in, set it down. Come down to your elbows for me. Pull the knee, circle out. Other side, pull the knee, and switch. Circle out and pull the knee. Circle out first, pull the knee, drop to the knees, press up into swan, lower down, bend the elbows, lift back up into plank, hold. Lift one leg, tap it through, bring it back, other side. Lift one leg, tap it through, lift. Downward dog, hips up, drop forward, 
You can go to just a little dip or all the way forth into a cobra. Scoop it back up into downward dog and drop the knees. Sit back in the child's pose. Nice job. Deep breath. And then swing those legs all the way around for me. Good. Rolling yourself all the way back and down again from that seated position. Knees are bent. Feet are flat on the floor to work on bridge. Good. So we're just doing four of each little thing. So really make them count for me. If you have that loop nearby, go ahead and grab that. And again, all the way up around your thighs. But trust me, if you don't have the loop, you're still going to super get this one. All the way back and down. Good. So press your big toes into the floor. Imagine there's sort of a heavy brick between your knees. Create that tension of squeezing your knees towards each other, but they don't touch. Tuck your belly button into your spine. And feel like your spine is a string of pearls as you tuck your hips under and roll up one little vertebrae at a time. Then tuck those hips under and roll it right back down. Just three more. Remember, I promised you four of each one. Roll up, tuck the hips under, roll it right back down. Cute guy, okay, you got this. Press your heels into the floor, big toe, pinky toe, evenly press into the floor. Weight is in your shoulder blades, not in your neck and head. You can freely move your neck and head. Tuck and roll up. Roll right back down and lift one heel or lift one foot so that that opposite leg is up in a tabletop position. Single leg bridge, lift up and set it right back down. Now don't lose the articulation of the spine just because you've gone into one leg. Really feel like you're kind of tucking your hips under and letting one little vertebrae at a time come off the floor as you peel it up and then set it down on the floor as you set those hips down. One more. Tuck and roll it up. Super gentle. Roll it down. Set that foot down and just switch right over to the other side. So just heel lifted. Keep the toe on the floor. Or tabletop your choice. Tuck those hips under. Single leg bridge. Roll up. Tuck those hips. One little bird right at a time. Roll it down. Three more. Tuck and roll it up. And super smooth, very soft. Each vertebrae gets a little second. Two more. Roll up into bridge. Hold and roll right back down. Last one right there. Tuck the hips under. Roll up into bridge. Set that all the way down. Good. If that loop has started to move up closer to your hips, go ahead and move it back down closer to your knees. As you roll up into bridge, and you have a couple of choices. You can pick the foot up like a little monster walk. You can shoot the leg out, or you can give me a full kick for four, your choice, three, two more. Last one, that side and switch. Remember, pick it up, extend it out, or full kick for four, three, two. Tip it all the way down. Set the hips down. Walk your feet out slightly so that your heels are heavier than your toes. Inhale your arms overhead. Drop that belly button and spine down towards the floor. Bring your hands to the ceiling. Raise your head first, tucking your chin in towards your chest. And work on peeling that spine all the way up off the mat, nice and slow. Grab your legs if you need. And one. Nice. Shoot those arms back around behind you. Starting with a reverse tabletop lift. I just want you to shoot those hips up. Go for the straightest little line possible from your knees to your shoulders. Stretch and up and up through the chest. And set that all the way down. 
So after already doing the bridge, when you shoot up into table, you should be able to drive those heels into the floor and really squeeze with the back of the legs right there and get pretty warm pretty fast. Give me two more right there. Lift up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And set it down. Last one like that. Lift up. And set it all the way down. Nice. Staying right there with those fingertips towards your hips. Teeny tiny bend for the triceps and straighten. So it's all about bending the elbows and lifting up. There's a teeny squeeze through your abs to kind of help pull you up, but mostly this is gonna get really into arm work for you. Give me four like that and lift. Three, two, Now I want you to pick your hips up so they're barely hovering over the mat. In fact, on the video, it might actually look like my hips are still touching the floor. I want you to be so close so that when you bend your elbows, you almost have to lift your hips not to touch the floor and straighten. There's almost a little tuck in the hips, keep them up. Straighten the elbows. Bend the elbows, don't let the bottom touch. And straighten. Bend the elbows, don't let it touch. You have four, just like that. Little bend and straighten. Three and straighten. Two. Hold it. Just hover. Static hold. Don't move. A little shaking is okay, but not really moving. And then pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All the way down. Taking that loop off of your legs for me. Swinging one arm up and over for a little tricep stretch. Hand is behind the head. Lift through the chin. And switch right over to the other side. Hand behind the head. Reach for that mid back. Lift through the chin. Try not to tuck in or look straight at the floor. And release that down. Nice. Swinging it all the way around so that you're laying face down on the mat for me. Good. When you get face down, I want you to feel like I just placed my hand right here on your lower back and you're just going to push ever so slightly against my hand and then you're going to scoop that belly button in so that you have this great little space right here. If I had a little flashlight on the other side, I'd be able to see it. Good. Opening your arms straight out to a T. Keep that scoop. Pull that lower back in and up. Don't start arching down into the mat. And just lift your hands straight to the ceiling. Squeeze with your shoulder blades and shoulders. And release down. Lift and squeeze. And very gentle, set it down. Go ahead and let your forehead rest on the mat. Keep the line of your spine nice and strong for me. A little bitty lift, squeeze with those shoulder blades. And lower. This time when you lift up, I want you to give me a little bitty swim. So bend your elbows, reach your thumbs to try and touch overhead. Squeeze your elbows in like they're going to touch your rib cage. Reach straight out to the side and set those arms down. So it's a lift. Squeeze with the arms. Tuck the arms in nice and close to your sides. Straight out to the side like a letter T and set it down. Two sets. Lift, swing overhead, tuck the elbows into the ribs, straight out to the side like a letter T, set it down. Last set, squeeze, lift, swing overhead, tuck all the way in by the rib cage, straight out by the side, lower down, and then just walk your hands straight out overhead for swimming. On swimming, same idea. I want you to still feel like my hand is right here and you've just pressed your lower back slightly against my hand. Your belly button is trying not to touch the mat. Like I lit a teeny tiny fire under your belly button and you're skipping up away from it. 
You are going to lift your hands, your shoulders, and your head up like Superman flying through the air, but push the tops of your feet into the floor and then set them down. Do that again. Lift and squeeze. Still pull that lower back up. Pull your belly button in tight and set it down. Push your palms into the floor. Lift just your legs. Squeeze with the back of the legs. Squeeze with your bottom. Do not tuck into that lower back, but puff it up. And then set it down. Teeny tiny lift and squeeze. Really try to get those glutes and hamstrings, your bottom and your thighs, almost on fire when you squeeze. Get really high. Both hands and feet like Superman. Lift. Super gentle and soft. Set it down. Belly button into the spine. Lift your lower back. Squeeze. Now feel like somebody's pulling your hands and feet to the opposite wall. So it's not about going up to the ceiling. It's about really hovering over the floor and set it down. Two more lift. Lengthen. It's not about height. It's just about getting that little squeeze through the back of the body and set it down. Last one and then teeny tiny paddles with your hands and your feet, like you're doing the goofiest little swim you've ever done in your entire life. For four, three, come on, press the lower back up, pull the belly button away from the mat, and then swim faster for eight. Smaller and faster, you're trying not to make any waves. You're trying to get away from a shark or something that you don't want to be near in the water. For four, three, Two, swing those hands around, place them right by your chest, pull your belly button and lower back up first. Don't leave them behind as you scoot back into child's pose. Nice. Good. In that child's pose position, just walk your hands over to one side today, giving yourself a nice little stretch through the side. Maybe even shifting your hips a teeny bit, just an inch or so away. And then walk your hands back through center to the other side. Using the traction of the floor of the mat, pull those hands really far away. Maybe shift your hips just a little bit. And then release that good. Swinging those legs all the way around in just a nice little seated L position. Just circle your ankles in one direction, stretching through the ankles and toes, moving all the way through the feet, really articulating through the feet. Two and one. Good. If you cannot quite reach your toes, I want you to give me a teeny bend so that you can push your toes forward just a little bit into that forward stretch. And then same thing, grab onto your toes. If you need, just go ahead and bend your knees in so you can grab onto your toes and really pull back on them and feel that stretch through your foot. Good, and then go ahead and walk those legs out straight, placing your hands anywhere on your legs that is comfortable for you. And just fold yourself forward. Two deep breaths right there. Inhale. And on your exhale, feel like you just sort of melt down into it. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Walking those hands up. Bending one knee in. I want you to start by grabbing onto it. It can cross over the opposite leg if you would prefer. Opposite hand's going to grab it. Same hand as leg. It's going to swing all the way up and over for a little shoulder opening and a little back twist. And then look as far over that shoulder as you can. And then release that. Keep that same bent knee. Just start to open it out to the side. And just like you did in that forward fold, just reach forward towards that a little bit. And come all the way up. Same leg. Keep that knee bent. Let it roll you all the way back and down. Take that knee across the body towards the floor. 
open your arms out to a T and look away from that knee. And come back into center, dropping the foot to the floor if you would prefer or keeping it up nice and close to you. Just let that knee drop open to the side, little opening through the hips. Feel like both hip joints are just dropping down towards the floor. Deep breath. Good. Bring that back into center, just like you were circling with your foot when you were sitting up. I just want you to stir that knee in a little bit of a circle going through the hip joint. And after three or four in one direction, just reverse that and go the other way. Just opening up. Your muscles should be nice and warmed up, so nice little hip mobility. And then grab onto that same knee and let it pull you all the way up to seated. Good, with those legs straight, just walking those hands forward, little forward fold, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, feel like you just sort of melt down over those legs. And then sitting up, switching sides finally. Bring that knee in or cross it over. Opposite hand's gonna grab onto the knee. Same hand as leg is gonna swing all the way up and over. Look out over that shoulder, pull that knee in. Little back twist, little neck stretch. And release, good. Just letting that knee drop open to the side. Same thing, teeny tiny lean forward. And then sit that all the way up, keeping that same knee bent, rolling yourself all the way back and down on the mat. Start by grabbing it with the opposite hand, pull it across the body, dropping that knee nice and close to the floor, opening your arms out to a T, dropping both shoulder blades down towards the floor and looking away from that leg. Good, grab onto that knee so that you can pull it back into center. Remember, you have the option of setting your foot on the floor or holding it in close to you. That's just a personal preference. And then kind of open that knee out to the side, stretching through your inner thigh, opening up through the hips. Deep breath. Almost there. And then bring that in. Good. Stirring that knee in a circle just a little bit. You just kind of pick how big or how small that circle needs to be for your hips today and then circle the other direction. Be nice to your body. Don't sit there judging it or telling it it didn't do it right. You did something really good for yourselves today. Grab onto that knee and let it pull you all the way up to seated. Good. Swing those legs all the way around for a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips, drive your heels down towards the floor and make this an active stretch. So as your heels drop down, your little tailbone lifts up towards the ceiling. The same time you're pushing with your hands, like you're trying to touch your rib cage towards your thighs and your head, you're just letting hang between those hands. Good, one more deep breath right there. And when you feel ready, just bend your knees enough and you can start walking your hands and your feet in towards each other. Placing your hands on your shins, your thighs, or maybe even underneath your toes. Give me a little flat back stretch. Think about that spine mobility we did at the very beginning of class. Really lengthen and stretch through that spine. Good. Grabbing onto those legs if you can and giving a teeny tiny tuck. And then release those hands down towards the floor. Tuck your belly button into your spine and roll up one little vertebrae at a time. Three, two, nice. Crossing your right foot behind your left. Lift your right arm straight up overhead, your left hand down towards the floor. And with the tiniest little shift of those hips over to the side, start to lean over away from them. Place your hand on your hip. You can grab a wall, small child, whatever's nearby. And lift up and just swing that leg around and switch. Left arm up to the ceiling, right arm down to the floor, teeny shift of those hips over to the side, and then start that little side lean. Good, and release.
belly set. Giving yourself a big old hug, trying to grab onto your shoulders and pull them slightly forward as you tuck your chin into your chest. Little stretch for the back of the neck. Open those arms nice and wide and switch which arm is on top. I don't know if I switch. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Good. Interlace those fingers behind you for a teeny tiny hinge, just reaching those hands up and back. Squeeze your belly button into your spine and hinge all the way back up. Interlace those hands overhead, reach for the ceiling, swing that forward, reach for the wall in front of you. Good. Back up to the ceiling, pull it all the way over to one side. Inhale up to the ceiling, all the way over to the other side. And when you release those hands, feel like you're dragging your hands against the wall behind you, open through your chest and shoulders, and stand up nice and tall. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope that you drink a lot of water today. Keep yourself hydrated. If you think about it um, and you liked the video, click likes, but I will know to do more like this. Or if you would rather that they are shorter, there's something that you feel like I forgot to add, feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you click on my funny little face somewhere on the screen, then you can subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the cool bell, then you'll get alerts and you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks again.